Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can properly remove your sunscreen if you have applied it to your face, neck and even ears. Now I highly recommend doing this in the shower, it is much more convenient, less of a mess and you're making sure that you can reach every area compared to if you would do this above the sink. Specifically if you're trying to remove a mineral sunscreen that I'm currently wearing or even a water resistant or waterproof sunscreens. With regular sunscreens that are easily removable you can argue that you may be able to do this above the sink as well but overall I highly recommend doing this in the shower if you can do so. Now I want to share with you a little demonstration on how you can properly do this, what cleansers you can use. But before that I have prepared for you some PowerPoint slides to give you some examples of what the combinations can look like to make sure that you're able to properly remove it from the skin. So first of all, if you just want to work with one cleanser and you want to make sure that that specific cleanser is able to remove any sunscreen that you may have at home, I recommend working with an oil or balm cleanser. Those are usually applied on a dry skin and then you're going to rinse it with water and an oil balm cleanser is able to remove any sunscreen even mineral sunscreens and water resistant or waterproof sunscreens and to some extent makeup as well so if that specific oil or balm cleanser does not leave a weird residue afterwards and you were able to properly get your sunscreen off the skin you haven't missed any specific area you can just use your oil or balm cleanser on its own However, if you have missed certain areas or you think, well, my oil or balm cleanser usually leaves a weird residue afterwards that I do not like based on the feeling on the skin surface, I prefer to do a double cleanse, well, then you can go ahead and do so. And a double cleanse refers usually to using at first an oil or balm cleanser as your first cleansing step and then you're moving on to a water-based cleanser. This can be a gentle cleanser for your specific skin type. And so you can see the examples right here. So then you would apply your oil or balm cleanser on a dry skin, rinse it off with water, leave your skin wet and then move on to your regular cleanser and then apply it, rinse it off and then there you have it. Or if you usually like to work with specific treatment cleansers, exfoliating acid cleansers, I highly recommend not applying those on your sunscreen, but make sure that you can properly remove your sunscreen at first with an oil balm cleanser and then target your specific skin concern, such as for example acne prone skin, so that you're not going to mix it with your sunscreen, but you can really have the direct contact with your skin to really improve your issues. And so there you have another example of how you can and work with it if you should have a treatment cleanser at home. Now at first I want to get started by just using an oil or balm cleanser and then later on I want to lead into the double cleanse so that you can see it both ways. So I have two examples right here. I have an oil cleanser right here which is the Hadalabo oil cleansing. This one is for example a like more liquidish version. It has a pump so if you would use it use between one to two pumps which should be more or less about a coin size amount. If you're working with a balm cleanser that comes in a tube or maybe in a bigger jar like this. This is the beauty of Joseon Radiance Cleansing Balm. Well then go ahead usually it comes with a spatula where you can grab a bit on the spatula and then this should be enough for your face and neck but more or less you can say about a coin size amount. This should be the amount to evenly cover it over your face, neck and even ears so that you can effectively remove and break down the sunscreen from the skin. Now what I do want to emphasize is, which is often very confusing specifically if you're doing this in the shower, is you need to apply your oil or balm cleanser on a dry skin. There are certain exceptions where they do say well you can apply it to dry skin or wet skin if that's the case. I recommend trying out both ways and see what works like more effective for you. However usually it does mention apply to dry skin and then later on rinse it off with water. So if you're going to apply to dry skin there are two ways on how you can do this if you're going to include the shower as well. The first this one is you're going to step into the shower, take a fair amount of your oil or balm cleanser, apply to dry skin and massage it all over. And then later on you're going to start off wetting your hair, face and body to do the entire program. However, if you're usually 
someone, as I usually forget myself, to leave the skin dry because you want to work with your oil balm cleanser if you're already in the shower, well then take your cleanser, your oil balm cleanser, uh, outside the shower, do this maybe above your mirror that you like remember yourself on while it needs to be applied to dry skin. Once you have massaged it all over, then you can step into the shower and then start removing it from the skin using water. So this way you're making sure that you do not forget this essential step to apply apply to dry skin. And so I'm going to use now this cleansing balm. I'm going to take a fair amount, more or less about that much. So as I already mentioned, it's like a spatula full of balm cleanser. Usually with balm cleansers, which you do not need to do with oil cleansers, is because they have a, like a stiffer texture, you need to warm it up between your hands so it turns into kind of like an oil and then you're going to massage it all over your face and neck. Whereas if you work with an oil cleanser, this isn't necessary because it is already in a liquid form. So take your time to massage your oil or balm cleanser over your face at night. You can even use it around the eyes, just make sure to not get it into your eyes, not into your mouth. And I think the difficult part when it comes to, if you have applied your sunscreen on your ears as well, this would be the most difficult part to get it into every corner because the ears aren't flat. So make sure that you get it like everywhere around it and even in the ear itself. Like please do not put your finger in the ear, but you know what I mean. So please go around it specifically and take your time. So once you have massaged it all over, you now can go ahead and rinse it off with lukewarm water to warm water so it feels comfortable on the skin and that you can properly remove the cleanser from the skin. Now I do want to emphasize that in between when just using one cleanser, your oil or balm cleanser, or when doing the double cleanse, in between you can go ahead and use a soft and fresh washcloth. Those are also referring to makeup cloths. Those are extremely soft on the skin and you can wet them and then in between I'm going to now rinse most of the oil cleanser off and then I'm going to wet the washcloth and this can help me to properly like remove the oil cleanser and even the sunscreen from the skin surface and it allows me to get around the eyes to get specifically between the ears so that I'm making sure that I'm able to properly take it off the skin. Now this is an optional step however I highly recommend it specifically if you're wearing extremely stubborn sunscreen that do not easily remove from the skin when using a cleanser along with it. And so now I'm going to wet my face. I'm going to rinse everything properly off using the washcloth in between. So if you now have properly rinsed off your sunscreen and your balm or oil cleanser and you haven't missed any area, you now can go ahead and stop right here and of course wash the rest of your hair then your body and continue with your usual process. And then once you're done in the shower, hop out of the shower and pat everything dry and then there you have it. 
However, if you now should have still some residue left of your oil balm cleanser, which sometimes can leave a weird film on the skin surface, maybe you've missed certain areas of your sunscreen, you now can go ahead and then move into the double cleanse, which in that specific case, if you're not treating a specific concern, you would move on to a gentle cleanser that's suitable for your specific skin type. Now, I have two examples right here. One would be CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser for normal to dry skin or even Cetaphil's Daily Facial Cleanser for combination to oily skin. I'm going to use Cetaphil's cleanser as it's more suitable to my skin type and so in that specific case you're going to leave the skin wet and then you're going to apply your usual regular cleanser now onto wet skin and then again massage it all over your face and neck, rinse it off with lukewarm water and if you still should feel the need you can work with a soft and fresh washcloth in between just make sure that it's a new one not the old one because on the old one we have the residue of your sunscreen and oil or balm cleanser so you want to make sure that you're not using the same one otherwise you're going to add more to the skin rather than removing it when using a fresh one. I use between one to two pumps about a coin size amount more or less and then start massaging it all over. So now go ahead and rinse it off again with lukewarm water to warm water and if you like to use a soft and fresh washcloth in between. So, and once you have rinsed off everything, you should be good to go. There shouldn't be a residue left of your sunscreen nor any cleanser. And then there you have it. Of course, now if you would do the double cleanse, then now would be the time to continue with your hair and body. And then there you have it. Now, I just want to keep my main focus to the face, neck and ears where I have applied the sunscreen. So I'm going to stop right here. You saw both methods on how you can work with the different cleansers, depending even on to your preference, as well as how you can effectively remove it in the shower. Now, I do hope that you enjoyed this video and that you liked it. And if you did so, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And if you now want to learn more about how you can properly apply your sunscreen and even if you're into skincare to see certain skincare steps and applications, I'm going to leave some of the videos at the end of this video and you will find more of them on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skincare! Bye!